Hello, family. Takuma New Life Church. It is also a blessed day. God bless you. And Merry Christmas. May God be with you. Uh, we have shared the God with us from the Bible reading plan uh, on this Christmas season. And today, we're going to share uh, the Prince of Peace according to Isaiah 69. Isaiah 69 says like this, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Yes, the baby lying in a manger is um, the fulfillment of this promise, this word. So we have considered um, the wonderful counselor, mighty God, and everlasting Father. Today, uh, we're going to think about Prince of Peace. Jesus himself said like this from uh, John 16.33. Jesus said, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. Just came to the world as a baby named like that, and finally, Prince of Peace, uh, in other words, uh, the Lord of Peace. Jesus promised we have peace in Jesus Christ. Yes, of course. If you believe in Jesus and you follow Jesus, you have experienced lots of peace from the above. That is Christian life, Christian life journey. But he continued to say, we will have tribul tribulation. As you know, the tribulation cannot be peace in our sense. Cannot be. Actually, tribulation is trials, trouble, and sorrow. But he just said, we can overcome it, and we can have eternal peace. So that we need to understand the peace the Prince of Peace has granted to his followers. It is not just the coming circumstances or, you know, nothing happened on the same day like yesterday. Yes, yesterday I, can eat, I could eat and today I could eat. Yesterday I could sleep and today I can sleep. Yesterday, actually, I enjoyed my life with my friends and family, and also today, I can uh, enjoy my life with, with others. Actually, um, that's not peace. The Lord of Peace has granted to us. We can say it is peaceful, but the peace that Jesus want to give us is not that kind of. Actually, the peace Jesus has given to us is peace with God. In other words, true peace, an eternal peace. When we encounter this peace Jesus want to give us, or Jesus want to uh, reside in us, uh, first time, we got some trouble. We got some trouble. It is the very same situation uh, when the Virgin Mary, Mary received the message from an angel about the birth of Jesus. When an angel came to Mary and said to the birth of Jesus, it was not peace to her, but big trouble for her. The Virgin, the Virgin, without knowing man. The virgin will conceive a baby without man, although Mary was engaged to Joseph. It could be, it would be big trouble in Mary's life. But at the time, the angel, greet, the angel greeted her. So some English version translate the greeting uh, 
uh, Cairo uh, translate like this. Peace be with you. Oh my gosh. There is a peace? So that's why the Mary answered the angel, how could you say to me, I'm a virgin like that? It is not something she could conceive, she could receive. Actually, coming Jesus to Mary broke Mary's daily peaceful life. So that we should remember Matthew 10, 34. Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against a mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. What happened? Jesus is definitely Prince of Peace, but Jesus said, Hey, 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 don't think about that. Don't think, don't even think I have come to bring peace to the earth. No, 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 no. I come to, br I come to bring a sword trouble. Even, even the relationship, very close relationship, like a man and father and a daughter and mother and daughter-in-law and mother-in-law, they're going to have something wrong. They're going to have trouble. So that we can think about like this. Common peace needs to be broken. Honestly, peace without Jesus is just the limited peace. Limited peace is not peace. It is very peaceful today, but it is definitely not tomorrow. It cannot be peaceful, right? It's like a silence before storming. We cannot enjoy peace. We cannot be peaceful. So I can say that is fake peace. Fake peace. Without Jesus, no one can have a peaceful relationship with God. And without this relationship with God, it's doomed tomorrow. We are still in this world. So there is argument and trouble and we have tri trials and sorrow. But as we know, soon, very soon, we will see the load of peace in this world. They're going to come in. At the time, at the time, if uh, someone who fell recover the relationship with God, cannot have any peace. They are doomed. So, we have to receive the peace, the true peace, the eternal peace that the peace of Prince has granted to us. At the time, we can understand why Jesus Christ is the Lord of peace. So then, my brothers and sisters, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart every day. And for that, if you need to break fake peace, don't hesitate break that. You will have true peace in your heart. Let us pray. Our Father God, thank you for giving us your only one Son as the Prince of Peace in our life. We want to receive the true peace, eternal peace in our heart. So that let the peace of Christ control my life, reside in my life, in our heart. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.